This is Anime Rumi, where we share interest in Japanese media and anime with you all. The members are. I'm Lovely Lively Pink, Sakura. I'm your Blue Ranger, One San Yuri. Peppy and Sunny is Orange, Mikang. And I'm your MC, a touch of sweet and sour yellow, Yuzu. Thank you for joining us today, and let's get started. So, Sakura, have you been watching anything new recently? Yes, I've actually revisited one of my favorites.、Um, it's the show, in English, it's Erased.、Um, in Japanese, it's Boku Dake Ga Inai Machi. It's definitely one of my favorite thriller, kind of whodunit kind of shows mixed in with a little bit of sci fi.、Mm-hmm. Um, and I also watched the live action show of it, which I、oh. think also did a great job of like expressing and showing the intricacies and the nuances of a man <laughs> on the run in the, sci- in the, like, in the body of a child.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> that's、you、a、know. really good trailer. <laughs> For the,、right. for the series. A man on the run, 11 year old body. <laughs> In a world. In a world. Where the protagonist world. is in elementary school. Right? Because, like, for me, I really liked seeing.、Um, well, because, like, I can't remember if、um, the scene. Was also in the, in the live action versus the anime, but where he jumps.、Um, <laughs> the live action one、um, has like that corny CG ness to it where it kind of like, like, where they kind of run s through a membrane kind of thing, if I'm remembering it correctly. But like the time jump in the anime, I'm pretty sure he just passes out and wakes up or something、uh, like that. Oh, yeah. I don't remember <laughs> there being any special like visual signifier、yeah. of it. So I think you're right. I could have sworn it was like super cheesy too. Oh, gosh. I. <laughs> Because it was one of those things I was just like, yep, that's that classic live action anime cheese. Oh, <laughs>、uh, yeah. You know, you can't do much about it. Right. How did the cheese taste? Was it good cheese? It was great cheese. <laughs> like it was、uh, cheese? It was like mozzarella cheese. <laughs> mozzarella. It was basically like, mo- like the main character guy had to go running through a thing of string mozzarella cheese. Sticks to get to the past or something、oh, like、okay. that. It was weird. Before, I hope I'm remembering it correctly. <laughs> no, I hope you are because wasn't that in the manga anyway? Before he starts jumping back in time, he's delivering pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's delivering pizza. <laughs> and then he like, it all makes、jumps. sense. And then I remember watching it because, like, those, you know, the pizza delivery bicycles that they have, mm, 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 they're、yeah. not the bicycles,、yes. but the bikes, the scooter, yeah, 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 yeah. are so different than anything we ride here in America. And I'm just like, it's not、yeah. a motorbike, it's literally a, mi- a What bicycle. What is it? Like a moped. <laughs> is it a moped? Yeah, but with like、yeah. a roof over the top of it so you don't get yeah, wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's, like, it's that very distinctive. Like, Domino's Japanese, in Japan has yeah, a functionality and shape. Yeah.、Yes. <laughs> It's a lovely, lovely,、uh, cheesy tangent. <laughs> But yeah, the, my sh- <laughs> the show. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I see what you the did sh- there. <laughs> the show is like really good because it's super thrilling. And like, I watched the anime all the way through and I was just like, I'm not satisfied. And then I, lo and behold, I find out that the live action goes actually further than the anime does. And so you get to、oh. go and figure out, like, you get to go watch the resolution of it. And that was the whole reason why I watched it because、oh. I personally don't like watching J dramas too much unless it's something that's like super duper, I mean, gr-、uh, engrossed in. Like,、mm-hmm. um, Good Morning Calls when I watched、um, and it really enjoyed. So, you、um, don't watch it for the actors?、Yeah. <laughs> I don't watch it right now because, like, I, I love everybody by their voices. <laughs> That's true.、Um, Which is kind of the weirdest、true. thing、yeah. for me. Because, like, I'll watch an anime and turn around and be like, oh, wow, it was that person? No wonder it sounded like that person. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, a little cute little surprise for me, Easter egg hunt. Oh. <laughs> I could have sort of started as a light novel, but I could be wrong.、Um, but I. I The, the reason why I think it started as a light novel is because it's written so well. Like, the whole time you're watching the show, you think you know what's going to happen next. And you think you know, like, oh,、I、yeah,、know. the ending's going to go this way. But、mm-hmm. it whips you around like you're in a hurricane <laughs> and you're sitting、yeah. in the eye, like, okay, this is a really nice, like, slice of life episode. But bam, you find out somebody getting whipped in the middle of the night and you're like, what? Where's, what's up with the shed? <laughs> And like, it's like having heart palpitations. And like, yeah, normally- I, I feel like it's 
like it's not like a forest like cliffhanger or anything. Mm-hmm. It's like an it, it's, sense I think of it's unease. More of like a, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's like yeah. a turning point rather than like a. It's very suspenseful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. I really like the vibes of the show, just like the the atmosphere that it creates within the show. I feel like it's super interesting horror because of how unnerving it is Mm -hmm. of a show that you sit there and you get attached to these characters you see how they're how they've become who you like and also what's going to happen to them and stuff like that because like i think horror in anime is like really difficult i Mm -hmm. haven't seen an anime that i was terrified of but suspenseful anime for me is definitely one of those things that you know gives me heart palpitations yeah, so thank you, Sakura. If you haven't seen Erased yet, please consider checking it out. And that was our opening talk. So right now, right next to me, we have Iori Saiki san. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am Iori Saiki. How are you? How are you? How are Good. You? Ah! <laughs> so she's not too good at English. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not at all. Ne, こんなに英語が飛び交う現場は初めてです私。<laughs> so this is the first time in such a situation where there's so much English going on around her. はい。今日はですね。はい。台本をいただいておらず。はい。はい。なんかこのまま。ね、いろいろお話をしていくっていう感じだと思うんですけれども、はいはい、そうです。あ、そうですよね。はい、何かね、私にお話しできることがあれば、はい、ね、ぜひともお話をしたいんですけど、はい、今日はいろいろ聞かせてもらいます。はい、お願いします。よろしくお願いします。So today we have no script. She said it's her first time doing anything like this. She'll do her best to go with the flow, and I will also do my best to go with the flow. But we'll see where it takes us. はい。So, I've got a couple of questions for Miss Yuri san. Out of all the animes that you've been in, what are your top threes with no ranking? So, K. Shoujo no Virgin Road to you, anime got in this kid in the way. So, I know, eh, on the main, no, Meno to you, Kerak, Mr. Stone, Ah, yeah, hi, hi, Meno, and then to them, I'm a hot tona, hi, Kerak, and then this kid in the way. So, this is the one that I have to do with 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 the one that I have to do She's voicing the main character, Meno, and she's saying she's having a lot of fun with that. Another one was Vanilla from Nikopara, one of the twins in that, the white haired girl. And the third is Ayamine K from Maburabu Alternative. If she keeps on going down the list, there's no end to it. Right. <laughs> 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 All right. So you are currently doing. Meno's role in the life of an executioner. What are your current thoughts and like feelings on that? So, this is a good thing. I think it's 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 a good thing. This is someone that's very growing at the same pace as she is personally, and that she's able to grow with Meno. And With that, she can relate to Meno a lot. So, say you son, you know, the key to a lot. Okay, hi. So, this is me. Shinseki Evangelion. Hi, you anime no. Hi, Ikari Shinji Kun got to them. Ski de. Hi, hi. So, Ogata Megumi san ni akogarete. Hi, hi. Say you to you mono mega shi hajime. Hi. So, the reason why she became a voice actor was in the anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. She really liked the character Shinji, and、uh, his voice actor, Miss Ogata Megumi, and she really admired her, and that's what led to her being here with us today. And then, the last question out of all the characters that you've played so far, who do you relate the most with? So, this is me. Uma Musume Pretty Derby, という作品の King Halo, という King Halo, はい Halo, はい Halo, 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 Hal
She said it was the role King Halo in Uma Musume Pretty Darby. And can I ask why? Not none of this stuff. Her Jo wa jibun ga shinji teru michi o tsurai nuki toseru. Hai. Tokoro ga atte. Hai. Nan teka issue no kodawari toyu ka. Hai. So itta mono ga tsuyoku motte te. Hai. Nan daro sono akirame nai koto to ka. Hai. Sore ni mukatte ano doryoku shite iku tokoro to ka. Hai. その勢いの強さがちょっと似てるなと思います。はい。<笑> the reason why she feels that she relates to King Halo the most is because King Halo's character is someone who never gives up, has a very strong core, and is someone who really acts according to their own beliefs. And she feels that that passion towards themselves is something that she can relate to very much. So the life of an executioner has actually been really big right now in overseas because it's getting a lot of traction because it feels a little different from a lot of isekai animes. I think a lot of people were shocked when the first episode came out and Nano killed the isekai character, which I think was really unexpected. We thought, I think we all fell for the trap that, oh, it's a typical one. He's just gonna go out on his journey and she's gonna tag along. So, I think it's receiving a lot of praise right now overseas. And Miss Yodi over here had also mentioned that the boom, that it's big overseas, and that she's really happy to have a situation right now where she can send that out globally by herself. Yeah. So, Yodi san, do you personally have any questions or like a message that you want to put out for our, our global listeners? Nihon no anime o mite tara, Nihon go ga ben kyo de kiru te honto desu ka? So her question is Is it true that you learn Japanese while watching Japanese anime? I personally feel like it's not really learning Japanese. I think you learn words like konnichiwa or itadakimasu or arigatou gozaimasu. Very basic. I don't think it really leads to a conversation. It's just words you hear repeatedly. But I think it does help if you are learning it properly. ちょっとまあ、多分言語を覚えるっていうのと、まあ、また違って、うん、まあ、はい、その、単純なまあ、言葉っていうか、その、うんうん、じゃあ、こんにちは、ありがとうとか、いただきますとか、なんか、ですっていう語尾とか、うんうん、なんかそういうのは、あの、拾ったりすると思うんですけど、うんうん、多分、ただ何回も聞いて、覚えるっていう感じ、実際、学んでる感じではないと思うんですけど、うんうん、勉強している人でアニメを見て上達する人は多いです。えーなんかその日本語に対してのその関心というのがアニメから入っているっていうのがなんだかすごく嬉しいなって私はいつも思っててなんかなかなかその外国の文化とかってなんかこう知るっていうのはハードルが高いというか難しいことだと思うからなんかそのね関心を持ってもらえるものが日本にあるのがすごく嬉しいなって<笑>思いますね。はい。はい。<笑> so she says that she's really happy that anime is something that leads people to take interest in the culture and the language, especially because it's so hard to be interested in another's culture. And she's proud to say that Japan has something that draws people in and brings interest through anime. And so I think I'd like to wrap it up here. Iori san, thank you so much for coming today. Hi. I hope. I can see you soon. Bye bye.、Oh, see you soon. <laughs> see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Nikan's Otakachi Diary. Today's corner is. Oshikai! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>、um, oh, yes. We've, we've all been so, waiting for this. Yes, definitely. So, in this corner, we share our favorites for Oshi Seiyu, manga, idols, characters, and more. And today, it's finally Mikan's turn to share her Oshi with us all. Hee hee! Yay! <laughs>、um, it's a little different from a lot of the characters I talk about or should talk about, but it is Caesar from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure.、Mm. Um, <laughs> have you guys all watched JoJo? I'm gonna admit and say not enough. Yeah. <laughs> Read bits and pieces, but I've only got up to the beginning of Stardust Crusaders. Okay. So I've seen the、okay. first two storylines. Caesar's disciple of Lisa Lisa. And that's like, that's how they, Joseph and Caesar meet. And they kind of like train together 
and they don't get along at first、mm-hmm. at all. I love that.、Um, yeah, you know, enemies to lover trope.、Mm-hmm, uh, exactly. Anyway, <laughs> lover. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, you know, you know. Anyways. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We are picking up what you were putting down. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> if I say too much, it'll spoil a lot. But basically, I just feel like you kind of really grow on to him. Like he's he's kind of like calm headed, but he's also very. You know, dumb. <laughs> like, a you know, himbo. Like the, that's like the whole, yeah, he's a himbo. Literally, he's a himbo. Like, I mean, I feel like that is like the whole premise of JoJo, where everyone's actually like <laughs> dumb <laughs> and himbo. So you know, <laughs> himbo energy, like very uh, like muscle for brains、yeah. type of situation, <laughs>、yeah. very much in that whole show. Oh my god! When you train so hard, the、I'm、muscle builds like, between your ears. Yeah, gonna get bashed by all the hardcore、uh, JoJo fans because I'm not amazingly not. versed in JoJo, but you know, I just really <laughs> like Caesar. I just really, really like Caesar. <laughs> so, would you say like Caesar is your like Kamiyoshi, like number one? No, I wouldn't say he's my、no. Kamiyoshi. <laughs> Ooh, poor Caesar.、Um, <laughs> I I don't have a kamiyoshi. Like that is the problem.、Oh, okay, okay. Problem. Okay, I don't know why I put it <laughs>、okay. like that. Anyway, <laughs> I I'd love to hear what makes him special、yeah. to you. It's like the way where Joseph and Caesar's relationship kind of develops,、mm-hmm. and then like the way that、uh, his life, I guess, really has an effect on like.、Um, On Joseph and like,、um, I just don't want to spoil it, but it's just a big part of it. But you know, you really grow onto his character, and you can tell that like at first he hates it. He they hate each other basically, and they annoy each other. But over time, and like fighting together and going against stuff together, you can really see that they genuinely care for each other.、Aww. And. I don't know. He's kind of like a very hockey character,、mm-hmm. <laughs> but deep down, he's like super sweet and caring,、mm-hmm. and you can tell. And I like his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> always, always a、But、huge part of a well done JoJo character. Yes. Describe this fit. He has like a cropped, like leather jacket.、Mm-hmm. For our viewing pleasure of his abs, yeah, I'm assuming like a super tight top, a scarf,、mm. and then he has this like headband thing.、Mm. Um, I'm I'm not too sure what you would call it, but and then just like、uh, some pants with like I think he has like knee pads on. <laughs> but basically, I like I like the part with the cropped leather jacket and、mm. skin tight. <laughs> He's yeah, supposed like, to be Italian, so this is all like very much you yeah, know, I mean, appropriate like, on point,、character. you know. But it's like a, I think it's light blue in the anime.、Hmm. Uh, the jacket, and then like he has like a、um, kind of longish blonde hair.、Mm. Um, I like his hair cut <laughs> a lot. But, okay, I, I okay. I don't know if you would call it a haircut, but like a hairstyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His look, his overall yeah, look. His look. Yes, the knee pads. I feel like it defines. It's a silhouette thing, you know.、Mm. <laughs> And then, yeah, I don't know. I really like Caesar's character. Caesar's like, character is just it's good. And he passes down the thing in like you know the scarf. Mm. Uh, oh. To Joseph, headband. On. Yeah, headband. Head. Yeah, headband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.、Mm-hmm. yeah headband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Joseph, and I feel like it shows a lot. And、uh, he, I guess, is like technique or like what he fights with is like bubbles. <laughs> oh, he uses bubbles. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> Wait, how how does that work? Wait. I don't know how to explain it if you haven't watched it, but basically, there's like hummel, just like a way you breathe almost, and then、mm-hmm. you take control,、uh, and then like, that's the chi of JoJo. Yeah, basically,、mm-hmm. and like I think the bubbles, <laughs> like. He puts his hamong in the bubbles, and then when they pop, they kind of like、oh. 
like basically mini games. Have one. Yeah, ba- yeah, basically, oh, kind that's, of. Yeah, that's yeah, kinda yeah. Cool. But instead of like a grenade, it's more. Uh, it's like cutting. It's, oh, it, 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 it's you can like do a bubble cutter, cutter which is pretty bubble. sweet. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Actually, I have, yeah. no, I have no idea. <laughs> so, kind of like one thing about JoJo is that like all the character designs and like the powers and stuff are always like super cool and like yeah. unique. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? it is very unique. I, yeah. I love them. Um, very, I, I, obviously, I love Jolene, but <laughs> I haven't, I haven't watched that. Stone Ocean is part. fantastic. Yes. but um, I'm glad you chose him because uh, such an important component of any JoJo mm-hmm. installment, aside from like the central Joe Star character, yeah. is like the JoJo friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, go, like going back to Speedwagon in the first part are such an integral part of the story and so is Caesar not only for Joseph's character growth but you know as a great character in, in yeah. his own right and I feel like even within the fandom like he's a character that stuck with a lot of people mm-hmm. and like people still talk about Caesar a lot and <laughs> you know makes sense like Caesar is the bomb is <laughs> Quote of the day, Mika. <laughs> Up there with Caesar um, is the bomb. Yes, <laughs> well the said. bubble bomb. <laughs> yeah. So today's Oshikai corner was on Mika's Oshi, Caesar from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and yeah, I I think it's really nice being able to just like talk about our favorite characters and idols, and like in this corner, it's just always so much fun to just see how much everybody loves that like one topic. So. Mm-hmm. Hearing that was a lot of fun. Your roomies <laughs> and, and friends get fired up about <laughs> something dear to their heart. Yeah. You know, makes my heart burn with that special kind um, of like Oshi passion. <laughs> also knowing how little I know about what everybody else is so passionate about. Is also <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like I realized that through like other Oshi guys too. Yeah. Yeah. I love but, being schooled by you guys. Thank you. Because <laughs> everyone has really good sense here, you know. So yeah. like anything anyone brings to the Oshi guys mm-hmm. is going to be like top tier. So <laughs> yeah, stay tuned to find out whose Oshi topic will be next. Today, Mika shared her Oshi Caesar from Georgia's Bizarre Adventure. And what did y'all think of this corner? Lovely. Really? <laughs> you know, I feel like there's a part of me that couldn't explain completely why Caesar's my Oshi, but... Yeah, it's just also it like, just there's so many spoilers and it's kind of hard to like, yeah. you know, maneuver around that. We might have but, to start putting like a spoiler warning at the beginning of some yeah, episodes. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but I think it still like came across like that you really like Caesar. So that was yeah. Fun. Also, like, your love for your Oshi just transcends words. Yeah, That's exactly. True. exactly. <laughs> you know, I'm More just than that, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, like hearing you be so mindful of spoilers is also mm-hmm. like the best part because like. <laughs> Because, like, I could hear you trying to, like, gear towards, like, explaining what really, like, embodies your love for this. Yeah. I don't want to say cartoon man, but my mouth says cartoon man. (laughs) Cartoon man. Uh, (laughs) But, like, you know, there's a code amongst us otaku in us roomies with spoilers and stuff. Yeah, you just can't. We do our our very best. It was very hard for me to talk about why I liked the anime adaptation of Erased without mentioning this yeah. one particular character but I got around <laughs> it the best I could yeah, yeah I know and then the second you mentioned him you I was curious, like heat it up go check it out once, yes. once you've yes. seen it yeah. you'll know yeah and go check out <laughs> Judge's Bizarre Adventure too for Caesar <laughs> so uh, just before we end today please check out our website and Twitter and feel free to tweet us uh, at hashtag anime roomy with your questions comments or thoughts on our podcast and that was episode 14 of Anime Roomy. See you all next time. Bye bye, Roomies. Bye bye, Roomies. Bye bye, Roomies. <laughs>